Hey guys, so today I'm going to talk about whether or not Pricematic's price is comparable to some other similar applications and whether or not it's worth subscribing to. So basically first thing that I'm going to talk about is the first plan and the cheapest plan is the thousand listings monitoring per month and that's for a hundred US per month. And then as you can see, each thousand listings that you increase, it goes up $30 per month up until you get to the 10,000 mark. And when you get to 10,000, then it goes 370 and then it only increases by $15. So anything over 10,000 listings, then you're going to go to 385 and so on and so forth. And then up until 25,000 listings, which would cost you $595 a month, which may sound expensive, but if you keep in mind that the amount of sales you'd be making if you had 25,000 listings that on eBay, like drop shipped from Amazon or Walmart, you're going to be making significantly more profit per month than just $595 that's going to like you will easily cover yourself and then anything over 25,000 you got to contact Pricematic directly but I I would say if you have more than that then you probably need to like look at your listings and try um, deleting some of your listings that aren't selling because you shouldn't re you don't really need that many more so I would say 25,000 should be the max you'll need but let's take it back down to 10,000 because I'm going to use this for based on what I pay. So I pay the 370 per month and in this 370 this is what's included. So you get the the scraper. So you can scrape unlimited sellers. You can uh, everything that you scrape you can export to the bulk list. You can either pick sold or active listings with which you want to scrape. So if you want to scrape a seller and you just want to see items that has actually sold for them, then you just select that in the scraper. I have another video on it so you can check it within my channel. And then you can also see how many they've sold of each unit and how many watches they've had. Actually, I think this is a bit of a mistake. You actually see the view count, not the watch count. Anyways, um, the lister. Uh, there's a single listing creator, there's the bulk listing creator. Single is when you just uh, copy the URL from either Walmart or Amazon. And the bulk listing creator is from the export to bulk list from the scraper that you put over to the lister. And then you list from there and you can list thousands of items at once. There's the title builder, the listing preset. So title builds the title exactly from Amazon. I suggest uh, optimizing those titles if you have the time to make sure that you're not that you can distinguish yourself from the other sellers that are doing the same thing. Then there's the listing presets, so you can pick your listing presets of what you would like, how you how much profit you would like per listing, and stuff like that. And there's the listing templates. I, I go over all this stuff in my other videos, so feel free to check those out if you want to go see a more in-depth look of, uh, at Pricematics features. And then there's the Vero and duplicate protection, which is very important. Then there's the repricer, the automatic repricing. They manage your stock. They do scan record reports every six hours. They, there's configurable rules that you can pick. So it's very customizable. And then there's the manager. So you can have uh, multiple eBay accounts. You can import all your products from eBay if you're just starting out. Everything that's already listed there, you can import that into Pricematic. There's efficient inventory browsing, and there's listing revision history, which will show you every time that it does the repricer, it will give you the history of what was repriced, how many products were put back into stock, how many products were taken out of stock, and so on and so forth. So basically back to the main point of this video, is Pricematic worth it, and do they? how do they compare to the other their competitors. So I would say their biggest competitor would be SkewGrid and HydraLister, which is basically two separate programs that do the same thing or a similar thing, but not as well as Pricematic. But they do them in two separate programs, whereas Pricematic does it in just one program. So I said, I'm going to estimate the usage. 
So for me, on Prismatic, sorry, I'll just go back. It's 370 US per month, and that's for both things in the sense of Hydro Lister and Skew Grid. Now let's go to Skew Grid. And they do this credit thing where every time they reprice something, they charge you a credit. It's really annoying, and a lot of people are bashing Skew Grid just because it has been... Like, I used to use them, and they are brutal to deal with. Their customer service sucks, and Pricematic is ten times better than them. So that's why I use Pricematic over Skew Grid. So it cost me three ninety per month, but that doesn't include any listings. That's what Hydro Lister is for. So three ninety. Let me go over to Hydro Lister, and that's another list unlimited items. Um, so comparable to Pricematic here, we're looking at another seventy dollars per month. So that's going to bring us to four hundred and sixty dollars for the same for these two programs that do the same thing or similar thing to Prismatic. That's three seventy. So you're paying almost ninety dollars more for a, I would say like a less effective program and more the program that has more issues. So that's why I'm definitely recommending Pricematic, and I would say yes, it certainly is worth the money, especially if you're like if say you're just starting out and you just have to pay a hundred dollars a month, like that's not too bad with how you'll start like getting listings up and then you can always upgrade or downgrade at any point. Say you say you're at a thousand listings, you start the month, you pay the hundred dollars, and then halfway through the month you realize, okay, well now I have five thousand listings. You can just change the price uh, 5,000 listings and go continue and then you can change your subscription and it will prorate the fee based on how many days you're actually going to be using it for and yeah Pricematic's great and I definitely recommend it. I'm going to put a link in the description below for a 14 day free trial where you can try it out and see what you think and anyone who is currently using SkewGrid and HydroLister watching this please give Pricematic a try. I didn't want to do it either at first. I was like, oh, I'm these ones I'm just used to using them and stuff. Pricematic is way better and you will never regret changing from Skew Grid and Hydro Lister to Pricematic. I can guarantee you that. And if you do want to switch over or if you do want to sign up, feel free to check out my other videos because I go in depth to how to do everything on Pricematic and it's very helpful for getting started out. So thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.